Hello there and welcome to my channel. Life with Lois Crew ready. Gladiators ready. She can't even wait to take the cream off the box. Tigger, are you ready? I can't even wait to take the, the cream off the box. Yeah, okay, you can take a seat now. Blimey, some people are very particular. Guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome to Life of Lois. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. I'm lost already. She's lost. I'm lost. We're all lost. Welcome to my channel. If it's your... <laughs> God, I can't even remember. If it's your first time here, warm, warm welcome to you. If you're one of my returning subscribers, my G's, my day ones, thank you for coming back, spending some time with your girl. So I've got in store for you today. Now, guys, you know that I have been welcoming you guys for a very long time, but my my giddy aunt, she she did not put me off sometimes. But anyway, let's get into it, guys. Welcome to another haul. Yeah, I am loving this haul. Now, I'm not going to go into, oh, I only went to buy, but I did. I went to buy essential toilet paper. You know when you get down to the last couple of rolls and you're like, oh my gosh, because I didn't check the cupboard and I realised I'm down to it. So I went in for literally toilet paper, kitchen paper. I got them, weren't happy with the brand of toilet paper I bought, realised it's not even here. Girls have gone with it already. So I'll show you what else I bought, yeah. But guys, before we get into it, let's do candle of the day. So guys, this candle, and it matches my me, what I'm wearing, yeah. This candle is, it's a Wickford & Co one, and it's called Spring Bouquet. Very, very fitting, guys, for the time that we're, we're kind of approaching, um, where they're getting all the spring things out and all the spring colours are popping out now. But anyway, this one is called Spring Bouquet and it's Wickford & Co. And guys, this one I actually got from, I think it was a Home Bargains one. And, I, and I've seen them back in store this year. I had this from last year, this one, guys. But um, yeah, Spring Bouquet is my candle of the day. Is that right? Now, yeah, are, are you looking for the flowers? Miss Tiggs? Hello. Okay, she's, she's clearly not talking to me. Because what I've got, I've, done, I've moved the plants, guys, because I'm not having it. I've got this little one up here. She's not going to touch that because that's just like, it's not even green. She's going to be like, why are you trying to show me that? Why are you trying to show me that plant for? It's not even real. I know it's not real. She knows it's not real. We all know it's not real. So, let's get into the hall. As I said to you, Guys, don't forget to click and subscribe. Thumbs up as well, if you like this kind of content. So, yeah. But, guys, let's get into the haul today. So, basically, as I said, I went to be in the other day. Not on purpose. I was actually in the car waiting for my daughter. And she went to the dentist. So, I thought, okay, I'm kind of in this... Because where, where we go, there's kind of like a, a whole big, like... Um, like, no, what's, what's, the, what's it? Retail. Like a whole two, big retail park and her dentist is there as well. So I thought to myself, mm, sitting here, mm, might as well just pop in B&M, get some loo roll and get some kitchen paper. And I came out of a hall and here we are. Here we are, here we are. So let me show you the bits I picked up. Right. Um, now my daughter, she also, she finished her appointment quickly and she said, Mum, are you still in the shop? And I said, yeah, I'm in aisle five. Like, and I was quite embarrassed because she'd been to the dentist, got her check up. You know, all flying colours and everything. And I'm only reached to row five of, of B&M. I was mightily ashamed. But anyway, let's not go on about it. So she put me in row five and then, or aisle five, should I say. And then she picked herself up some bits. Of, I said, well, you don't know, it's haulable. Guys, I'm going on a bit, I know. Let me show you what she got. So she picked up a water bottle. Because now we're going to the gym. She actually wants like a smaller bottle to carry as well. But she's got her big bottles, but she wanted a smaller one. So I was telling her about the bottle that I got, you know, in... um. Was it, where did I get it? Was it B&M? I got the, yeah, the big, the bigger one, the two litre. So she got herself that one. This one came in at £1.50. And this one is um, BPA free 500 ml bottle. So that's really good, guys. If you want to carry this in your handbag or like you want to carry a smaller amount of water, but you know you're measuring your intake. So that was £1.50. 
and that's what she got also what she picked up my fan my daughter is a fan of cups she loves her cups and um this is lovely for the up and coming spring such a lovely spring color so bright and it says full of sunshine so you can see my daughter's trying to wield the sunshine don't you but she got this cup and this one came in at three pounds for this mug that was three pounds and that is they had them in all different colors they had them in like um like a green like a light green they had them in pink all different colors guys whichever one but each color has a different slogan so whatever suits you they've, they've got it there for you so also what she picked up now i was eyeing these bowls up but she got to them before me so i thought well do you know what guys if it comes in my house i'll i'll use it anyway so she got these pack of bowls and I love these bowls. They are real solid plastic and they're a um, pack of four bowls. So guys, they're great, guys, they're great for food prep. They're great for like if you want to do a quick cereal or if you want to make up like um, guacamole or your smashed avocados. They're great because they're all different sizes and they all fit inside each other. Let me show you by taking this bit off. And I'll show you the different sizes, right? So you've got the large size, which is the purple one. Take that lid off. Then you've got more inside. So the next colour inside is like a beige. So that's how it is. And then you take the lid off of that one. Gosh, a lot of lids here. And then you've got the blue. And then the blue one and so on and so on guys so you've got and the next one is pink in there so you've got all different colors they all fit inside each other and they're all really great so she picked that up four four bowls with four lids three pounds and three pounds let me just double check guys yeah three pound fifty for that one i think that's a really really good price and they're really really strong you know some bowls when you get them and you put them in the microwave they start to go like after a while I think this one will, will really stand the test of time. Um, yeah, well worth 350. And they look so lovely as well. They look so nice. So what else have I saw in there? Oh, guys, when I saw this, this reminded me of my mum. My mum has got like, um, well, she had glassware like this and she left them to me and I've kept them and I've, I would never get rid of them. And when I saw this, this reminded me of her so much. Look at this beautiful this is lovely now i would say some people would call it like a sunday glass you know or maybe like a dessert glass dessert bowl or dessert something but i think this is beautiful look at the cut crystal style they've actually called it boho soul and it says emboss glass dessert bowl that's what they've called it a dessert bowl lois if you just read it in the first place you would have to go around the houses and giving it back five million names but anyway, this is beautiful, guys. Look at the cut crystal. And it's solid, guys. You know how I feel about glass. I hate thin, you know, items with thin glass. Things that I don't feel confident with. But this is solid. I can literally go like that and I'd feel comfortable. If it fell, um, I would not be happy. But I know this would stand a little bit of a hit. But I love it. It's so beautiful. This came in at three pounds. Pick myself up two of them because they're a little bit pricey, guys. But the, when you're seeing the, the quality that you're getting, you definitely would pay three pounds for it. How beautiful. How beautiful. So I got myself a couple of those. Um, I said to myself, Lois, do you need it? No, I don't need it. But um, they're beautiful. And the thing is, I love cut crystal glass. I love cut crystal. I love when you can get plastic um, glasses in cut crystal <sighs> I love it because I just think it it adds such a lift to how your things could look everyone's got a different style but I do like the old kind of cut crystal style I really really do so I got myself those right also what I saw in this this acrylic turntable now I really like this in terms of storage and also if you want to put this maybe in your cupboard and you want to sort of reach things that are on it you spin your acrylic turntable or oh, knowing me what I'm probably going to really use for not inside my cupboard I probably use at the table when I'm seasoning my meat because I use quite a, I tend to season in bulk 
So say, for example, I'll go and buy maybe two whole chickens. I will cut them up and use them for different things. So say, for example, um, I'm buying a whole chicken. I'll cut the breast away and I'll use that for fajitas. That'll be seasoned. So you wash it, seize it, freeze it in the bag, you know, season it in the bag and freeze it. Or say, for example, I'm going to use the quarters of the chicken to do maybe um, roast chicken or something, or you roast your, your quarters, or your thighs or whatever, or rotisserie. So each way, when I'm seasoning, when I'm seasoning my meat in bulk, I use different seasonings for different, whatever meal I'm preparing or meat I'm preparing for the meal. And you spin it around according to what you want. Now that was a very long story, guys, just to show you a blinking turntable. <laughs> but guys, yeah, that's your acrylic turntable. What a long story. I'm so sorry, guys. Sometimes I do go on a bit, I know. But anyway, so this rotates. And it says, organise spices or condiments in your fridge or pantry. Easy to use. That came in at £4, guys. £4. Loving that. Loving that. I mean, I've seen them before in other stores. Like, I'm sure Poundland had a very similar thing to that last year. And maybe even this year. But I remember seeing last year, like, a white and grey kind of style. But um, the clear glass one is really attractive, you know, in, in, for me anyway. So... Moving on, picked up one of these plates. Now, I've had one of these before. I bought this, I think it was either last year or the year before, um, but I wanted another one. And when I saw it again, I thought, yeah, I've got a set now. And this came in at three pounds, but this is your portion control plate. So your veggies are meant to be that half, and it even shows you the veggies on there as well. And then if you spin it around, you've got your protein, and that's the amount you're meant to have. And then we spin it around your carbs. Yeah. So um, that is definitely something I've got to really take in hand in terms of um, kind of up, you know, my uptake. My uptake or intake? Taking in more vegetables. Anyway, yeah, that too. So, yeah, got that play for three quid. So just moving around the aisles very, very quickly. As I said, I only went in for a couple of things. Um, and, yeah, this is what I ended up with. And here we are. Here we are. So I also picked up this flash spray. Now, this is a new scent one. I think it's a new scent one. But this is the, the one with the um, new plant-based ingredients. So I'm tempted to smell it, guys, because this is meant to be the apple blossom. Now, I'm, I've got to open it carefully because I don't want it to spill on my clothes or anything like that. So let's have a sniff. Mmm. Guys, that's quite fresh. I have smelled this before, you know. I, I thought I hadn't, but I have smelled this before. It's very... It's it's not heavily apple -y, but it does have an apple blossom scent. So, yeah, that is nice and fresh. And that's a wipe down flash spray. I think this one was 2 99 I think, guys. You know what? I really make sure that I close this properly because we don't want it coming off. Yeah. That was, I think it was £2.99 for that one. And guys, they've got so many different um, scents in these ones. Um, so if you like lavender or they've got cotton fresh or they've got um, some sort of um, pink blossom one. They've got many, many different ones. So whatever you fancy, but I wanted to fancy the, I fancy the apple because I haven't had anything apple in quite a while. Also, moving across with um, scents. Um, <laughs> I do like, I used to have one of these years ago and then it got on my blinking nerves and I threw it away. And now here I am picking it up again because some of the scents are so nice. They're really, really nice. So I thought to myself, okay, I'm going to get one of these. Um, this one is your wild rose and patchouli. And that is your um, essential oils, freshmatic auto spray. Now I do like um, wild rose. Funny enough, years ago, I didn't like rose at all. It used to be like, you know, the back in the day rolls, they were a bit ah, meh. But the roses of today, I think because they mix them, you know, they mix them with things like um, patchouli and all other things. They're so, so nice. But anyway, I got that. I think this was 5 49 because you actually get the um, the the container, the, the sprayer itself, and you also get the spray in there as well. So you get the whole complete kit in one. And that's your wild rose and patchouli. And even the, the refills, if you want to get the two refills, they've got two refills for 4 49 in there as well so got myself one of those also picked up this carpet fresh and this is the pet friendly one and i really wanted to try this one 
to the fact that it's pet friendly. I've had this before. No, I don't try it. I've had this before, actually. Now I'm thinking about it. I remember the, the Cerise colour. I think I bought this last year, actually. But, um, yeah, Orchard and Passion Fruit. But it's pet friendly. Yeah, I have had this one before. But I don't use this very often. But I just thought I'm going to put myself one up. For you guys, yes. For you guys. Hello. My girl is a little bit tired today. Yeah, she's very tired. She's been trying to come in my bedroom all morning. And she's been trying to sleep in my room all morning. And I were having it. I said, leave me alone. Give me some me time. And uh, yeah, so she hasn't really been sleeping like she has. Normally she would have had about three or four hours kit by now. And she hasn't had it. So now she's finally sat down with me. Because she's been trying to sit with me all morning. But guys, I'm busy. Sometimes I have to I have to work first and then do or I'm on the phone. And I can't have you're taking a call from a client. No, guys, guys. Hello. So that's why she was locked out of my room. But here she is, half asleep. Poor thing. You know what? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna start trouble. If she's sleeping, let's just let her sleep. Anyway, let's move on. So guys. While I was in there, let me pick this up ever so quietly because I don't want her to, to move. Yeah, I've got her her dreamies. Well, it's for all of them, actually. Not just her, but for all of them. So I've got dreamies. I think that's 129 for that one. And this is the one with tantalising turkey. Mm. But, I, guys, if I, if I move the packet, she'll wake up. You don't believe me? All right. They're up here. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. See, now she thinks it's feeding time. Um, guys, that's my own fault. Tix, come back up here. Come back up here. Come back up here. The dream is open later. Yep, dream is open later. Yeah, you're a good girl. Dream is open later. Guys, that's my fault. You know what? I didn't think she was going to get down for it. I knew she'd wake up because literally, guys, if I, the minute we picked that, those dreamies up, they could be east, west, north, south. They will find themselves in the vicinity, wherever the dreamies are. Yeah. Also, what I picked up in there was this lavender foot pack. I just wanted to try it. I haven't tried this lavender one before. Um, this is Skin Techniques. And that came in at a pound. And it says, moisturising and nourishing contains lavender extract for relaxing, hydrating foot treatment. Um, yeah, it's 20 minute treatment, guys. Um, yeah. So I wanted to try that. Because, guys, we're, we are rapidly heading towards uh, sandal season. Time to get your feet sorted, guys. <laughs> also, I wanted to try this moisture bomb by Garnier. Um, this is your moisture bomb. Now, guys, I've never really been a bit... I've never really been a big user of um, sheet masks. But I've started buying them since last year. I use them now and then. And I think it's just an easy way to sort of give yourself a treatment. And I do like Garnier products. I must admit, I do like them. I don't use it a lot. But I use certain Garnier products because that's what I started off on, Garnier back in the day um i started off on the garnier cream many years ago and i've moved to something else now but i still use some of their products and i do like this one um i like the sound of it that is for tired skin yeah and guys sometimes yep your girl needs a little bit of help so, so picked up that that was about 2.99 for that one um yep so moving across my daughter she got her cappuccino which she loves and uh as i said to her, you know it's haulable we all know where we stand and also find a few bits pick myself up my kitchen roll that i got this was rhino and this was uh i think it was about 189 or nearly two pounds i think for this one um and that's the thick absorbent three ply one kitchen paper love my kitchen paper and finally got myself some mega softy toilet wipes essential products guys i like this stuff i don't know do you guys use this i don't you don't have to put your business out on blast like i am but guys yeah i remember i was reading on somewhere i think it was some celebrity thing and the rock uses them and he said why would you use 
dry crease paper to <laughs> to do the you know to clean up when you can have moist toilet sheets and i said he's he's got a point it's true but anyway softly mega I never tried this one before but um yeah it's enriched with aloe vera and you get 80 sheets in there and this came in for just under a pound for this one so that was my real quick trip to b and um and i'm really pleased with the the turn the turnstile tray i'm really pleased with that and the cut crystal dessert glasses <sighs> really chuffed with those guys so guys i hope you like some of the things you saw put maybe a comment down below and tell me which was your favorite which things did you like um what's that a bit of fluff yeah don't forget to click and subscribe put on your notifications button if you like this kind of thing and um then at least that way you'll be notified every time i release a video so guys i'm going to love you and leave you enjoy your day have a marvelous marvelous day or evening whenever you're watching and i'll see you guys all real soon on next video take care guys see you later bye